me, Star Fox ended after Star Fox 64. I don't know what Star Fox is. Star Fox is like, um, you play as Fox McCloud, and he's a fox who flies a spaceship, and, you know, this, um, this air force of frogs and bunny rabbits and hawks and all this, you know, they fly... Uh, they're star fighters and they're out there in their spaceships battling, you know, the bad guys. And um, it was just a really fun spaceship game. And it was one of the ones that came out with the, like, the 3D, like, you see the ship moving around. Yeah. And you can be, like, in the cockpit and things are coming at you like this. It was, like, one of the first to do that, like, 3D. Gotcha. Instead of the side-scroller stuff right. or like the top down or not top down but like where stuff's coming from the sky this one was like head on going into the action right. and that uh super nintendo kicked it off but the 64 was like the pinnacle the star fox 64 which you need to play you, you'd like it it's really fun yeah um it even had like if one of your teammates died on a level they don't progress to the rest of the story with you. You lose them there oh. in that battle. You know, and you hear them over the radio and their little thing going, ah! It's like, no! <laughs> uh, but they had a game for GameCube uh, that never played, never cared about. It was like, for me, Star Fox died then. Oh, you never played. No. I thought you meant no. the disc didn't play. Like, they released no, 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 it no, 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 and... No. They're just like, eh, it doesn't, doesn't work. No. Good luck. That's not what happened. That was similar to what happened with E.T. on the Atari. Yeah, yeah. you told me about that. So, from, I don't know much about this game outside of Star Fox 64 and what that was and that it's connected. Star Fox has now been relegated to, I think there was a 3DS re-release of the 64 game. Um, and then he's been in the Smash Brothers games. He's a Smash Bros. character. Uh, I don't know why I keep imagining like a little red panda in like Guardians of the Galaxy. I mean, you're not far off. Yeah, but that's what I'm thinking. You'll you'll see. Um, I have heard people. Well, it's John Tron's cover in the okay. game, so I've heard people not be too happy Tap about on it. it. Yeah. All right. Um, anyway, let's get it on. so bad, I didn't think I'd make it through the day. So then comes the lovely gaming sin of backtracking out of desperation. Now, may I remind you, this is the first three minutes of the game. Ah, human spirit. She is resilient, isn't she? Yeah, here I am a whole year later, still trucking along like a sack of potatoes on a long open road, wishing he'd stop for gas at the last rest stop. And then on the Interstate 12, he gets hijacked and murdered by a bunch of Quaker ghosts. And had moved on from the War of 1723. Fuck, what, what even is my purpose? What am I doing here? What am I doing? What is all this shit? Anyways, it's a fuck. Shot. Yeah, just like, I'm balancing. I love how the pack of Marlboros just stands out. No. It's all so clear now. Not here for nothing. 
I'm here to bring these repressed memories back to the masses. I'm here to shed light on the betrayed heart of the man, woman, and child that have been pressed under the rug like last week's sawdust. It's not right. It's not right. They will never forget. Not while I'm here, we won't. Bro, like, holy fucking shit. <laughs> Just calm down. Like, bro, seriously, do you need a glass of water or something? I don't need water. <laughs> well, thank you, then. thanks. What I need is the Nintendo GameCube. Where to begin? Well, I guess let's just start now. Long, long ago, before Rareware made avatars, and they were actually a game company. They made some really standout <laughs> stuff back in the day for the N64, like Banjo-Kazooie and Conker's Bad Fur Day. Man, some people might have called them the best. But as we all know, even the great must eventually fall. First in a rather lengthy series of blunders is a little GameCube title known as Star Fox Adventures. Yeah! Star Fox Temperatures was originally a game slated for the N64 under the jaw-droppingly brilliant name Dinosaur Planet. Mmm, suck it in. At some point during the development, though, the game shifted from the N64 to the Nintendo GameCube. And then, an amazing thing happened. You see, it all started out when Sugar was walking around the England one day looking for trouble when walking he happened to stop England. by Rare Studios. Upon taking one look at Dinosaur Planet, he was all like, okay, let's see what's going on here. I see how you got a fox. We got a fox, actually. You put him in his like, cocky little That's freak. what I was thinking Spark. of. Yeah. Rare yeah. was stunned by the utter brilliance of this magnificent conclusion. Dinosaur Planet was now to become Stairfax Temperature. Stairfax. Well, that's enough history lessons for one day. What do you think, Prof Jacques? Those who can't teach. Breach, and those who teach also teach. <laughs> oh. oh no! Oh no! Oh no! He's dead! Ah, uh, just looking at that <laughs> title screen brings me right back. After all, Star Fox 64 <laughs> is one of my favorite games See? of all time, and you know what? It still stands oh, up well today. It's amazing. It's okay, that's not what I thought perfect. it looked like. Sound effects, the music, the standout and memorable characters, the gameplay, and especially those cheesy one-liners. You've got an enemy on your tail. Pretty smooth flying, Fox. Cow barrel roll. Hey, Einstein, I'm on your side. You're becoming more like your father. Just looking at all this gives me a nostalgia meltdown. It had great replayability, too, the kind some games couldn't even hope to achieve. There were branching paths and objectives you had to fulfill to get to the real final boss. Basically, pure gaming bliss. But then, silence. No Star Fox games for nearly five years. Until, you guessed it, Star Fox Adventures. We all saw it in the gaming magazines, and yeah, we were all pretty fucking excited for it. Finally, another Star Fox game, and not just anyone, one with sweet, cutting-edge graphics coming out for the GameCube made by our favorite company, Rareware. This was gonna be sweet. What could go wrong? All the elements were right. All the fucking planets were aligned in favor of this epic rainbow bombshell. Let's finally dive in and see what we've been missing uh... all our lives. Here gets the Okrazoa Palace. Well, this is it. Here you have it. This is actually the next Star Fox game after Star Fox 64. You start off on a pterodactyl. It's a blue fox girl speaking in a, well, uh, you decide what it is. You know, I've got to hand it to them. I've really got to hand it to them. They did it. Rareware trolled the entire planet with one fell swoop. <laughs> now don't give me any of that bullshit. This was Nintendo's decision. Uh, this was also Nintendo's decision. This was also Nintendo's decision. Not to mention, here's another decision by Nintendo. You say no. No, like you're talking to a dog and just peed on your rug. No, artistic integrity is important. In fact, it might just be omni-important, okay? I just, I just put omni in front of that shit. That's how important it is. Okay, okay, whatever. Maybe it'll get better from here on out. Can't judge a book by its cover, unless it's fucking like stuff on my cat, because I think you're pretty much getting the you know, <laughs> experience right there. So to recap, you start off the game not as Fox McCloud, but as a Blue Boob McFurry Dream. Also Blue Boob McFurry Dream. Some sort of dream. fox lady that speaks some sort of stupid language they made up. I always find that to sound so foolish, too, whenever they do that in movies or games. I don't know why, it just sounds so stupid. <laughs> Moak. Aumdekulak. The best part, though, is that every now and then they just say something in English. General Scales. I mean, <laughs> why? That's so stupid. It's just, it's just laughably stupid to a ridiculous degree. If you're going to go so far in depth that you actually create a language for your game, 
Why even do that? Yeah. I don't get what the, what the reason could possibly be because we're fucking stupid. Anyways, she gets off the ship and reaches, uh, Krizoa Palace. Krizoa Palace! Yeah, that place. Up here, there are dinosaurs everywhere, all dying and shit. Maybe she should have brought the town on or something. Probably gonna <laughs> help me out. You know, for dinosaurs on the verge of death, they sure give some good tutorials. But you start to notice something a little funny. These controls are just Zelda controls. Instead of mortally wounding a bunch of dinosaurs just to have a tutorial level, they probably should have just had some guy standing around going, Hey, you ever played Ocarina of Time? Alright, you should be fine. I'm gonna go play the <laughs> harvest court. Oh, what's this? It appears Blue Tits has found something. Oh man, and she's fucking happy about it. So happy she's looking above it. Oh, looks like, uh, um, puck puck eggs. Huh. Oh, cool, not to worry. They're not dinosaur eggs. <laughs> looks mm. like everyone's safe. Oh, wait a second, they come from puck puck birds? Hold up, it's not cool that they're dinosaur eggs, but since they're bird eggs, it's fine? What kind of fucked up shit is that? Bro, the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, hey, Jacques, I thought you died. Man, now this is gameplay. You get a barrel, you run with said barrel, you throw barrel a given thing, you run back, you get another barrel. Rinse and repeat. Oh my god, that would be so Distance annoying. Gets longer each time. <laughs> you know my favorite part of Star Fox 64 was? Throwing barrels at the jellyfish from King Jabu Jabu's belly. Pretty much sums up the experience. So you go even farther into Krasawa Palace. Run through some fire, because it gives two fucks, doesn't even hurt you and your million health. And you get to every fox's greatest theater. A mini game for six-year-olds. You know what? You know what I just realized? The Mario Party mini game of this is harder. Yeah, something's wow. wrong there. Wait, wait. What's that? Why is, is that? Is that Star Fox music I hear? Oh my god, no, is it really happening? Oh, 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 oh god, oh god, is that Slippy? Oh. Oh, oh my, oh my god, it was terrible. Oh, oh no, what the fuck is that? Well, I guess at least Fox is finally in the game. Maybe the intro was just trying to, you know, ease us into this. Perhaps now we'll get to experience the pure virgin GameCube Star Fox adventure. Oh. Oh, oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, oh yeah, I'm in a spaceship! Oh, 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 oh okay. Are we going into all range mode? Oh, hell yeah, Peppy! Oh my god, tell me, tell me to do a barrel roll! Oh, oh, oh! oh. <laughs> that was it? Well, 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 that wasn't even as good as the one on the N64. It was just a straight shot, and there, there wasn't even really any variety. Where are we now? Like, more dinosaurs? Are you sure? Okay. Bill translate for you. Okay, General. But what about a weapon? Why couldn't I bring my blaster? Yeah. Yeah, why couldn't he bring his blaster? I want to use his blaster, you know, like Super Smash Brothers. Okay, so I guess just <laughs> we're going to walk around and talk to more dinosaurs then instead of using any blasters that may be in or around this area. I am um, um, See, this is what I was thinking of. You played this? No, but I think maybe my cousin had it. Why would someone do this? Why would somebody do this? There's another person. I'm really human. I'm really human. Well, at least we're playing as Fox now, uh. I guess. But you know when you want something, and then you get it, and you're not really sure what it is you what wanted the in the fuck, first place. What the fuck, dude? Yeah. That. Oh, yeah. Look at that climb. He's sexy. Put it to music. Oh my god. One thing this game does just ruins everything for me is it uses those stock royalty free sound effects for like everything. It just takes you right out of the game. And why would the mushroom be making the sound that's the sound that the fucking imps make from Doom? Oh, hey, check it out. Something. That's more huh? than anything else we've accomplished thus far. Well, I guess Fox just knows how to use a stick thing. And he's not scared by floating heads. So you go and be Ricky Winterborn for a while, and you beat the race and launch off this cliff. And this is the longest fall ever.
And now you got this little dino fuck following you around. And I don't know, he wants blue mushrooms or some shit because he's bored as <laughs> fuck me in his game. He just wants to get high. Hey, I don't blame him. That's right. It was your mother that sent me to find you. Is she okay? She'll be just fine. Oh, man, really? <laughs> God. Oh, I've never cared so little about anything in my life. Here, little fella, let me just put this mushroom in your knee so you can get your fix. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Here, just come here, Tricky. I just want to show you something. That's right, yeah. This is really where the game starts to take a turn for the worse. I mean, don't get me wrong, it was already pretty bad. But at least before, you could go through the game without a baby triceratops stapled to you. Yeah. That was pretty good before. See, it's all about perspective. It's so cute, though. Thing. It's like, oh, I got stabbed with a sword. But hey, that guy got stabbed with two swords. Man, my life's not so bad. That's pretty much what this whole game is. It's like, it's just like, hey, remember when you could play the game and didn't have to feed a baby dinosaur mushrooms? Lol, that was awesome, wasn't it? Why don't you just go back and play that part? Here, I'll clear the save file for you. So I guess I'll just try to get through this. I'll just keep going. Okay, so Tricky's digging a hole and wait. Ooh. Wait, what's that? What is Ooh. that? <laughs> a bath, a buffon, bath, a buffon, dad? What is this? And why is it in my Star Fox game now? No, that! I don't want to think anymore! If one more fucking woolly mammoth has been anything up to you, double dead, plus I think I'm a friend! <laughs> Dear God. I'm in a wonderland. Oh my God. Tale hollow, I think that uh, he really hates his game. <laughs> Make him do those stock sound effects Cause who gives a shit? No one's playing this anyways Chasing the bugs to buy the things Cause I was chasing bugs to buy the things in Star Fox <laughs> General Scales is the meanest He throws blue towels, I mean foxes I meant that she was a fox Where is Falco? He was awesome, I went, oh, he's just a dick, and that is why they removed him. But that's not so cool, you can't kick King K. Rool, cause he's mean and he's green, but they did. In Dark Out Country Returns, they replaced him with wood. Hitting mushrooms, falling knee deep into the The best pose of my life, I've ever been so. your best Star Fox adventures, but I guess your best just wasn't good enough. You know, they may have screwed it up. This may be canon forever, and they might be the reason there really hasn't been another Star Fox team since. But heck, as far as this old internet so-and-so is concerned, there's really only one Star Fox game that holds true in my heart. That's just fine. No one asked for me? Well, <laughs> I think I've got it all sorted out. I'll be here just where I'm always shock. Be, doing just what I've always done. Love the movies and video games. Nice having y'all. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time. Oh, and there will be a next time. Oh, she's in the light. We just watch. Ah, we watched that one. 
it felt like a fever dream the entire time. I'm not really sure. Uh, but I did know... Or I did recognize Star Fox. Like, whenever yeah. I was, like, telling you what I thought it was, that's exactly what I thought. Kind of a big deal. But Star it, Fox been around for a while. I don't remember, um, like, dinosaurs or anything like that. So I don't think it was that one that I watched. Well, uh, yeah, I, I feel like... That game was one that I was told to not even care about or mess with. I mean, seems like for good reason because this happens whenever, and dude, Nintendo is notorious for this. Oh, that game looks interesting? Well, pump your brakes on it. We're going to put one of our main characters in it. Don't worry about changing anything else. Right. They did that with Super, with uh, Mario. I think it was three, two or three. They just took another game and put Mario characters in it. And they're like, there you go. It's the new Mario. It is nothing like any of the That's other Mario such games. such BS. Like, I get, like, you need to make money in order to, like, keep doing what you're doing. But, like, just to screw people out, like, they don't care. I love Nintendo. Because without them, things would not be as awesome as they are now. They pretty much single-handedly revived home video game consoles after Atari shit the bed with, you know, the E.T. thing. And they were just like, yes, pump out all the video games you can for our systems. Oh, that one doesn't work? Make it anyway. Make this one. And it just like, people were like, these are cheap toys. They're not worth the money. Every time we get a game, it sucks. And it killed the home video game market. Here, in Japan, they were still like having companies doing their damn thing. We were just bum rushed by Atari, pretty much. But it, Nintendo kept it going. And with the NES, they fucking, you know, saved the day. And Mario saved the day. Um, but, as John Tron pointed out, they're the worst for putting out shovelware, which is just like, this thing works for your system. Who gives a shit? It's awful, but here it is. Right. You know, Mary Kay and Ashley Adventure what? Playground. What? Mary Kate and Ashley. I said Kay. Yeah. Um, but here's them like playing hopscotch for $60 on your Game Boy Advance, you know, or whatever. Um, and there'll be a million of those. Like, there's enough Barbie games to fill this room, probably. And they pretty much all are awful, even if you're a kid that would He's be into it. covered some of them and yeah. how awful they were. But, um, Nintendo also proved that taking risks is worth it. If you put out quality products like Zelda, Mario, Donkey Kong, you can make consumers you know, loyal to your brand so that if you do have some jacked up moments, then you get away with yeah, it. Yeah, you'll be forgiven. Yeah, but this is unforgivable. This is one of those things that they've done, and they do this all the time. They will take, like, awesome characters and just put them on the shelf. They'll screw up one time, put them on the shelf for 20, 30 years. Some of them have just been sitting there. Or they'll have a franchise that, like... Um, I mean, I guess it takes time to forget about the awfulness and then they're like oh that thing again tell that to ea sports you know they'll have six shit games in a row and then just like the next nine months you can guarantee they're gonna have a sequel to it maybe better maybe not but they're going um, nintendo has enough money to lose money i can't remember nate told me it was like they could lose money for like 10 years and still be fine it's just a crazy it's amount. Crazy. The Wii, I believe the Nintendo Wii is the second best selling console of all time, right behind the PS2. It's not, it's like by some number in that grand scheme that's not that, that small or uh, not that large. So that brought them back in a big way because the GameCube flopped. Um, the Wii U also flopped. So the Switch and the Wii are like, oh. Think about how crazy that is, though. The Wii came out when they were in competition with the PS3 and the Xbox 360, and they said, "We're gonna really, we're gonna put the Wii out 
Yeah. I remember it being like a big deal and people were like so excited because it was so different. And then, eh. I remember people being like, this is the dumbest shit I have ever really? seen. This controller sucks. No, this... I mean, before it came out, like, it was like, wow, this is totally different. Uh-huh. No, I knew people that oh. were pissed. I knew people that were so pissed about um, the GameCube and the Wii. Very pissed. Because the Nintendo 64 and the um, PS1 were like this. It's like you got a controller. Some of the same games came out for them. There were exclusives that you could only get with each console, but they were like, teenagers can play this, kids can play this. It was meant for like gamers, you know? And then the GameCube came out and it was like, most of these titles are, and kind of the way that this console is, is going is like meant for kids only. Yeah. It seemed like a way more juvenile you know, thing. And then, you know, like with the PS3 and the, the uh, Xbox 360, it was like, you know, teenagers, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare right. and shit. And then it's like bowling, baseball, Mario Kart. Yeah. And people had just felt like the last representation of like real, like the gamers that started with them from the... Well, I was younger when it came out. Right. So maybe that's why. The cool factor was not nearly there as it was with other things. But yeah, dude, this is such a waste of Star Fox. If they had made a sequel to Star Fox 64 where you were just in the, the spacecraft and in the uh, in the spaceship just shooting enemies and, you know, flying around, I guarantee you it would be held as one of the classics. Yeah. You know, it would be a big deal, especially given the nostalgia buzz around the GameCube for the past 15 years. But, um... Yeah, interesting. I think that John Tron, anytime he breaks out into song, I just like get filled with like cold chills and start sweating. I want to go to a John Tron concert where he does nothing but sing. It caps it off with fireworks at the end. Yeah, I was going to say the first time that I ever heard of John Tron was you running up the stairs, like crying and laughing and being like, You have to watch this. And I was like, It just happened. What the it fuck just did happened. I just watch? It, like, like there's no context no. at all. No, but for me, like, I had oh, never yeah. even seen him. And you were like, You have to watch this. And I was just like, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I died. I died. I thought it was the funniest thing ever. Um, so yeah, this is one of my favorite John Tron videos actually. After having watched it, the mushroom scene with uh, the frog. What's her name? I have no idea. Uh, I can't remember either. But yeah, that that was funny. Great stuff. Well done, John Tron. It's a great video that you put out 11 years ago. Jesus Christ. Um, I hope you guys liked it. Nikki, did you like it? Um, you know. <laughs> You know, like yeah. a little, so like a little bad. bit of a trip. Yeah. Yeah. Very fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed our reaction to this, you know what you could do. You could give us a like. You could subscribe to the channel. You could give us recommendations for videos you want to see us react to in the future. Thank you for your time, and we can't wait to see you in the next one. See you guys.